Today, I'm going to be showing you all about Xero. Let's first off go over the quick and basic features of Xero. So first off, you can pay bills using Xero and it can track your bills and you can get a clear overview of all the bills and payments that you've made. Secondly, Xero helps you claim expenses. So if you're using Xero, you can easily simplify your expense claims and what is the cost of your material, shipment, your employee cost. All of that is very easy and you can reimburse your claims easily with your bank without having the hassle of going through five different people and proving that you're saying the truth and all that. Thirdly, Xero helps with bank connections. So you can connect your bank to Xero and set up your bank feeds and transaction flows securely straight into Xero each business day. So it helps you coordinate your salaries, pay slips, bills, and all of that goes through your bank and Xero at the same time. So it's great for you and great for your business. Next, we have accept payments, so you can get paid online easily using Stripe or GoCardless and other online payment services that now are preferred by a lot of people rather than using traditional banking. So you can accept your payments using Xero and track them easily. And then you can also track your small business projects. So you can quote, invoice, and get paid for jobs, plus keep track of time, costs, and project profitability within Xero. This is very helpful to make your workflow streamlined and more efficient. Then you have bank reconciliation. It keeps your financials in Xero up to date. So whatever is the current code in your bank is going to be displayed on Xero, so you don't have to check up with your bank constantly. And you can categorize your bank transactions each day using the suggested matches provided by Xero. Moving on, we have contacts and smart lists. So you can look up a customer or a supplier to see the full history that you have with them regarding your sales, your purchases, emails, payments, invoices, and all other contact details. This is really helpful if you have a long-term client or a supplier, and it helps you keep track of all of the communication that has been had. Next up, we have capturing data. So you can get the original documents scanned and all of them are automatically uploaded into Xero without any manual data entry required. It's a simple program called HubDoc and it uploads all of your original documents and all of its key data too. Xero also provides you with pay runs. So what are pay runs? Pay runs are basically uh, basic pay records online and you can do it for a few employees. So for example, if you have over 50 employees, then you can integrate an application that can keep track of the payroll on Xero. Next up, we have files. So all of your online filing system, you won't have to keep bins and cabinets of paper files and hassle with them each time someone tells you they need a record back from 2011. You will have them online and you can just search for the specific time or year and you can easily reach those files. So then we have reporting. So you can report and track all of your finances and collaborate with your advisor online in real time. So if you have any kind of accountant or business manager or even personal financial manager, you can just send your report to them and they can help you out in real time online without the hassle of going to their office with 50 stacks of files and a huge bag containing all of the official records, you can just send them an online report. And you know with Corona these days, it's best if we keep it online. Don't you understand? So moving on, we have inventory. So you can keep in track with what's in stock and what you are out of stock off and populate invoices and orders with items you buy and sell so that's very easy and then you can send invoices so work smarter with intuitive invoicing software you can send your invoices that means like the bill you can send it from your phone or desktop as soon as you complete a job which is very very efficient so your employer can easily know when it's time for you to get paid. Then we have multi-currency accounting. So multi-currency accounting is when you can get paid in over 160 currencies. So you don't have to wonder if a British pound or American dollar or a New Zealand dollar all equal. Zero will calculate that for you. You can also keep track of your purchase orders, you can also keep track of their quotes, and you can also calculate your sales tax automatically using Xero. 
and Xero also provides you with a analytics plus feature which helps you see future cash flow, check financial health, and track your metrics. And if you want even more extra features, you can upgrade to analytics plus which will keep track of even the tiniest details of your small business. So let's go back on the homepage of Xero and let's set up an account. Over here, you're gonna fill in all of your details, your email name, phone, and password, and all that. And after you've done that, this is gonna be the next page. You're gonna add the details about your small business. So I'll do that in a minute, and I'll get back to you guys. So guys, once you've created your Zero account, you can see this is gonna be your landing page. This is your dashboard. Here, you can see you can get visibility over your cash flow. You can write up your invoices. You can track where your money is going. You can manage and pay your employees, track time and costs on your job. And you can track your bills. You can also stay on top of your taxes and calculate your taxes and explore other kind of content and features that are available on Zero. So for a small business like you and I may own, the first and most important thing to get to understand is how to set up invoices. Because if your billing system is all online and all set up, you can bill your clients easily and you can receive your own bills easily so you can pay them as quickly as possible. Other features, you know, you can look at your short-term cash flow in terms of analytics. You can get a business snapshot. That means the overall trajectory of your business. But we're going to focus on invoices. So, for example, I'm just going to create a new invoice for you guys so you can understand how you can create your bills to your clients. So you're going to click on new invoice. Then you're going to type in to who are you sending the invoice. So, um, it could be to your buyer, just any buyer. And then you're gonna look, set up a due date. So I'll just say it's for the next month. If you've saved the items, uh, the item list that you have, you can just enter the item code and it will just give all of the description, quantity, unit price, discount, and all of that on its own. But since this is just, you know, for you, but you know, since this is just an example, we're just gonna add a new item and let's just say the item code is this and the item name is mangoes. Let's go with mangoes. And you know, you're selling this item. So if you wanna create a bill for yourself, you can write up, I purchased this item. But for now we're doing this as a business. So we're the ones that are selling or we are the suppliers. So let's say the unit price is 10 and 200 sales so it will automatically calculate you know the standard kind of tax rate but you can remove the gsg or zero rated and you can customize that depending on what kind of item you're selling you're gonna save that and over here you're gonna just once you've saved mangoes as your item you're gonna have a specific item code so if i just type in that item code nine three 9734 it will just do it again so you can uh, so you don't have to retype everything all over again and over here you can add just the quantity so let's just say someone bought 300 mangoes so over here you just have the bill and you can save this and approve it and send it to whoever is your buyer this is a very good automated system and as you can see if we look at this we can even edit it so before sending it to your client or whoever is your purchaser or customer, you can just save it and, you know, take a look over it once or twice. Uh, let's say that maybe they purchased more stuff, like let's add another item. You can say they bought apples too, since we're going with fruits and just make whatever item code you want. Set a unit price and then you can just do that, save, and like this, apples are over here. You can adjust whatever quantity they bought from you. So let's just say they bought 12, and the unit price is 55. And you can also apply any kind of discount. So let's just say I gave them like a 10% discount on mangoes. And you don't have to calculate anything. All of this is created for you. And you can just directly send this bill to your customer. 
So you're just going to save it, approve it, and then send it to your customer, and that's it. So for a small business, this is going to be your holy grail. You don't have to worry about the hassle. You don't have to think about the GSTs and the sales tax and other kinds of taxes. You can just easily create an invoice and send it directly to your customer. Next up, let's look at accounting. So 